Hey guys, uh, this this is awesome. This is so cool. I am so excited to be doing this video for you. I got a PR package that I just recently like hit the freaking jackpot on because it's a whole line of lip products and I adore the formula. And this is just a really special thing. This is a, just to preface this, this is gonna be kind of a treat yourself lip product. These are from Bobbi Brown, so it is on the high end side, um, but a very, very special, really cool formula. This product product is called the Crushed Liquid Lip, and they describe it as liquid balm meets bold color, and that intrigues me so much, but I totally get it. Having played with these, I'm like, yes. It feels moisturizing and balmy. There's kind of a thickness to the product, but not a ton of shine, so it's really not in the same category as a lip gloss. These don't really have that lacquer type shine on the lips. There are 14 colors. There are so many beautiful, like, neutrally mid tone shades. Like, I've got three families of them sitting in front of me here. These are what I'm labeling the neutral nudes. Then we've got some berries, and then we've got, like, the brighter corals and reds. And it's a formula that I'm really not scared to wear in any of those certain, like, bright colors because it just doesn't drift outside the lips. The wear of this product is brilliant because with pretty much all these shades outside of, like, the lightest couple, they're going to leave behind this really even, I guess all you could call it is a stain on the lips, like really even color. No weird gunky like peeling of the lips and definitely not even close to the wear down you experience with a matte liquid lipstick. And then at the end of the day, there's like another level of it. So you've got your full on color. Then after a few hours, you'll see pretty much the absence of shine, a little detensified color, but still very even across the lips. And then by the end of the day, especially with these more intense shades, you see basically like a stain of that color. So not that artificial, like everything's turning pink stain that we've been burned by a few times with different products. It's true to the color you had on and still looking very even, just detensified if you don't touch it up. And so I just think these are brilliant. And the feel, there are a couple of things that came to mind when I was thinking about texture with these. Some people might say, well, is it like the M Cosmetics True Glosses in feel? Because those are super comfortable. They're a gel formula. They're really fantastic very full color, um, and they're comfortable and good in their own way, but these have a thicker feel than that on the lips, and they are not as shiny. These are not a gloss, so I can't really put the two in the same exact category. Then my mind goes to the L'Oreal Pro Matte Glosses, which are a wonderful product and about as close to these as I think you're going to get in the drugstore price range, but not really as luxurious and moisturizing of a feel. That's the thing. These feel so fantastic. They've put balm into the conversation with these and I get that. Like, it feels so smooth, not the least bit greasy, just a little bit thick, and not goopy glossy at all. It says this feel-good formula drenches lips in emollient rich moisture. It's infused with a blend of superfruits, cranberries, blueberries. The liquid balm delivers a plumped up look, comfortable feel, and smooth finish. I'll show you in application how it's important not to over apply these. Like, you just don't need to. You will get full color with whatever is there on the doe foot. I get it on one of my lips, then kind of go, blot my lips together and even it out on the other lip and you're good. Comes in 14 shades. I think a really great shade range. So happy with these because sometimes I think the flaw in products like this is like too many pinks or too many reddish corals, not enough neutral. And there's a beautiful range of these mid-tone kind of wearable neutrals in this collection. So they're $26 a piece. I am definitely considering that as I'm talking about these and raving about them. It's like, is it actually worth it to purchase one of those. And I would say it's not like everybody needs to go out and buy every single one of these, but they are a special, luxurious, very luxe feeling lip product that covers the whole comfort spectrum and also the glamorous appearance of the lips spectrum. It's doing both 100% for me. So I would say, yes, it is worth the money. So I'm going to take you through a try on, show you all these shades. I'll point out along the way what my favorites are. The fact that they go on so evenly, which I was ready for it. I was ready for the lightest 
lightest shades and the darkest shade, which I've been wearing throughout the video, I was ready for those to go streaky on me because I thought those are the hard things to execute in a gloss-ish formula like this, but they did it. They went on evenly. It's so consistent, this formula, regardless of color. So really, the shades are just a matter of personal preference because there's no real dud here, as you will see, in terms of a shade that can't execute or can't go on the lips looking very full on. And the icing on the cake of the formula, as I said, is the wear. Beautiful wear. Just very even wear down that doesn't end up looking patchy or like rim around the lips. And I still continue to have evidence of that lip color on my lips all day long, so I think that's fascinating. But your lightest neutral shades are not going to deliver on that kind of a look the same way the deeper neutrals any of the berries and the reds and corals will. So if the wear time is really important to you, think about maybe getting one of the more intense shades for that. The applicator kind of looks like a, a real slanted doe foot here. There's a little indentation like just under that doe foot. Actually what that's probably doing is helping you feel the full surface area of that doe foot because it does definitely go in at the bottom. And it carries enough product to where, again, put it on one lip, blot that to the other lip, and then just just even it out and you will have enough because if you go applying a lot more then you may get a little more streaky feel or a harder to manage feel on the lips so this practice definitely works especially when it's new as you use up product obviously less and less will come off on the doe foot and you may need to go back for more but the overall rule with this I would say is pace yourself these are pigmented products they don't need building up on this little card they split it up into bold berries fun brights and lush nudes and my sorting out doesn't necessarily mimic that I just I sorted them in the way it really made sense to me so let's jump in group one is the nude group the neutral group first shade is lychee baby and this would be your lightest nude not gonna have that real stainability that the other shades have but still pretty as far as nudes go I would call that kind of a peachy nude next shade is more of a pinky nude and this is called hippie shake and I love this this would be one of my favorites although not the most practical for that all-day look on the lips it just doesn't wear as long but it's gorgeous and something about being able to see that color go on on the lips so full on and so even it's not always something you expect to see with a light shade like that so it was really refreshing to see that execute in that way I just love that color tone then we're getting just a little bit deeper with the color juicy date this one I think of as kind of a caramely color there's some warmth in it there's a little bit of brown coming in there I do think it's super wearable I definitely see myself getting some use out of that shade because it's just so so everyday and easy. But this next one, guys, this is just like everybody can get away with this color. This is everyone's color. It's called I Don't Give a Fig. Oh, no, it's actually called Give a Fig. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna forever nickname this shade. I don't give a fig. This is so good. It's soft neutral mixed with a little rosiness. I think it's so pretty and young on the lips, you know? I definitely wouldn't describe this as mauve. We're gonna get into some borderline mauve berries in a minute, but this is so totally fresh and easy and kind of carefree and like, you know those people who have beautifully natural pigmented lips? I'm thinking about my college roommate, Beth. You know, she just, her lips just look great with Carmex on. This is the kind of color she was naturally blessed with, but this looks good on so many people if you can achieve it through a product, and so this would be that product. The next one is Oat Coco, or Hot Coco if you like to pronounce the H. This is your brown. This is the end of my color spectrum here as far as nudes go, and it really makes me think of that kind of 90s brownish lip, um, whereas we had another shade that I called Caramely. This is the rich caramel mixed in with a little chocolate, and again, the evenness of color even getting into a really deeper tone like this. It goes on so nicely and so easily. I'm not really taking a lot of special care with these other than generally not double dipping back into the tube and pulling out too much product. So this is a look at that neutral lineup. Again, we've got the nude. We've got what I would call kind of a pinky nude or just a soft pink there. There's that caramely neutral in the middle. Here's give a fig or I don't give a fig. Just however you want to look at it. I love that shade, that natural rosy flushed lip. 
and then your chocolatey brownie cocoa shade here at the end. Next up we've got four berry shades ranging from kind of medium berry to really deep dark berry like what I've been wearing throughout the video. So let's jump into that. The first one is called Smoothie Move and this one I'd kind of call like dusty berry. I feel like it's what you get if you mixed kind of a neutral lip color and a little bit of a reddish berry and then you come out with this sort of muted very wearable berry look. I really like the shade. And then we go to In a Jam. In comparison to the shade before this one has more of a pinky mauve thing happening and to me it just seems like the ultimate everyday wearable berry. Seriously loving all these shades. They're falling right into my wheelhouse but the next one is called Bittersweet and these two just to look at them in the tubes they look so close and they honestly are pretty close. Like if you're gonna buy two don't buy both of these. The only difference I would say is that Bittersweet is just a little more vibrant. There's a little more pink in it. I'll show you a swatch lineup in a second and I think you'll see that. Now if you like the richer berry, the shade I've been wearing throughout this video, you want to look into Cool Beats. I just love it and I really enjoy the wear down of this color too just because I know that even when it's not fresh on my lips there's still gonna be something there. So if you don't like to have to tend to something all the time throughout the day and you just want to enjoy nice comfort on the lips, this one is really a lot of bang for your buck and definitely a top favorite. I just feel so glam in this and I've got the most simple eye ever on with just a little neutral shadow and mascara and then this beautiful bold lips. So here's the lineup of those berries and you can see how neutral that first one is. So like I said that mix of kind of brown and berry. The two in the middle both very close to one another but see how bittersweet has just a little more pink happening. There's just a little more vividness and then your nice deep rich berry here at the end which frankly looks deeper on my lips than it does in that swatch. Maybe that's just the way I evened it out. But gosh, that feel. Mm, that feel is fantastic because it, I could make that feel like a really good lip balm. Like I just put on that Laneige lip sleeping mask or something. That kind of a feel, that kind of an intensely hydrating feel, but this glamorous gorgeous color. I can't believe I didn't think to say that before. It totally is like the Laneige lip mask. Next up we've got five shades that are really in our bright coral and red color family. So I'm going to start with the lightest one and work deeper. And the lightest is this kind of pastel shade called Peach and Quiet. I'm surprised Too Faced didn't use that as a shade name for something. So soft kind of pinky peach. I don't love 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 this shade on myself but I don't know maybe as springtime approaches I'll make it happen but it's just not my favorite. However this is another one of those shades that I would look at and raise my eyebrow and say is that going to go on evenly and it definitely does without a lot of fussing so there's that color and then we get richer and brighter. I do think this is a very pretty shade here with mango mood. Instant springtime here. A lot of orange in this shade if you like a nice orangey lip color. I'm not scared of some bright lip colors so to me that still seems very wearable. You know it's not like jumping off the face orange but that bit more depth that this shade has compared to that first one in this color fan Family. like it makes it seem more wearable to me. Next we're going to go into main squeeze and if there was ever a shade described as poppy I mean this is it. I'd call this like a rich warm pink. A lot of red in it as you look at it in the lineup the last one looks very distinctly orangey and this looks like it has a lot more pinky red going on but super vibrant. I do love this shade. I see myself wearing this quite a bit more in spring and summer. It just really seems to call for that season you know. And then this shade is gorgeous to everyone out there who loves a warm red. A warm glamorous red. Big Apple. Big Apple is going to be your friend here. It's got so much orange in it but yet at a glance, like if you just glance at someone wearing this, you think red but then you linger on it for a moment and you're like oh I see that orangey warmth coming through. It's so pretty and I just can't get over the fullness of color from this product that feels so dang comfortable and wonderful on the lips. So that shade is stunning stunning but my favorite out of this color family would have to be this last one and it's called Cherry Crush and this would be the true red. Actually all in all 
I might still put this a little bit on the warm side. When you look at the swatches side by side, it's so on point with Big Apple depth-wise, like neither one of these reds is darker. There's just a little shift in tone. Cherry Crush is just slightly cooler, and I don't know, I just tend to love that kind of color on myself. So here's our lineup of our bright, bold shades. We've got that lightest one here, then a richer coral, like classic coral with that one called Mango Mood. The one right here in the center is what I would call poppy, so more pink in that shade. Then we're reinfusing the orange and red combo in Big Apple, and then there's Cherry Crush at the end. I feel like the difference between these two is more obvious, full on on the lips, which is why I do a try on here, but Cherry Crush is just a little bit cooler, less orange in that shade for sure. This line of products could not have come out at a better time of year for me because it's that time where the air is dry, or at least where I live, you know, you're battling dry and chapped lips more, and I love a gloss style format. I love a little shine on the lips, and this does offer a little shine, but it's just not really glossy. I completely see where they're coming from, and I think they are so valid in putting balm in their descriptions of these products because it does feel that way on your lips. It feels like a really comfortable, rich, thick balm, but yet you're almost surprised by the level of color that these are able to deliver, and so consistently and evenly through the whole line. Like, whoever worked on this, whoever put their blood, sweat, and tears into these products, amazing job, because I think it's hard to be that consistent with such a wide range of colors and make me feel like I'm walking around in a Laneige lip sleeping mask when really I'm wearing this product. And maybe you're one who wants to have that full, perfect looking color all day and you'll reapply. If you are that kind of person, reapplying probably doesn't even bother you because you know that that's what you got to do to maintain a full 100% lip. But if you're kind of like me and you're working and maybe you're around kids or you're just real busy all day, you don't want to tend to your product constantly, but you don't want like a complete disappearing act to happen on your lips by midday, I think you'll love these because the wear is beautiful and even, and even by the end of the day, there's still something left, especially with some of these richer shades. And I've been swatching these on my hand and my hand feels soft after having them on. Like it's a nourishing, great moisturizing products. So way to go, team at Bobbi Brown. Thank you so much for sending me all of these because this is just, like I said at the start, it's a, the jackpot. Like, I love this formula. Again, top shades. This will be the not so practical pick because it doesn't like stain as well, but that hippie shake shade is gorgeous. Maybe my most favorite is Don't Give a Fig. It is that, like, the rosy lip, the pigmentation you just wish you had in your lips all the time. It's so face brightening and gorgeous. And if somebody said, I'm gonna take all these away, but you can only keep one, that would probably be it. But my intense berry loving self also really enjoys this shade called Cool Beats. I feel so glam, but I feel so comfortable. And then a fabulous red with that Cherry Crush. Those bold shades in that last group, they all have something special going on, but Cherry Crush is just that instant glam that I love. So hopefully that lays it out there for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. So many fun videos coming up. I'm really excited. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you again very soon. Bye!